almost four years on from the death of Michael Jackson, his family are now suing his tour promoters for almost £26 billion for lost future earnings and other damages. Michael Jackson's children, Paris and Prince, could be the star witnesses in a court battle between his family and AEG Live, the company behind the pop star's ill-fated comeback concerts in London. Figure Deborah Oprey, a former member of the Jackson family's legal team, is in Los Angeles for us this morning. Good morning to you, Debbie. So we're just hearing it's coming up to four years since uh, Michael Jackson died. So why is the case only coming to court now? Well, first you had to have the prosecution, the criminal trial of Conrad Murray, once that was over, and I'm sure the other case was stayed civilly, they proceeded. And in Los Angeles, like many other parts of the United States, cases are very slow getting to trial today. And unfortunately, that's probably the key reason. Debbie, yeah, there's rumors that Michael's uh, elder children, Paris and Prince, are um, expected to testify. Do you think that'll actually happen? I don't. I, I think in the end, AEG will have it backfire on them. And I think in the end, Catherine really doesn't want them to testify. And what we all need to see is what would the two children's testimony bring to the table? Really, it would be what they heard and saw in terms of the employment of Dr. Murray, i.e., did they hear their father, Dr. Murray, saying, I work for Michael, I don't work for AEG. But that would be the extent of it. And I just don't see a jury would take quiet. I don't think a jury would take kindly to uh, the children testifying in this case. How do they arrive at this figure of 26 billion pounds or 40 billion dollars? Well, as a uh, litigator, I always say the plaintiffs always ask for too much and the defendants always offer too little. I think in this instance, they looked at Michael Jackson's age of 50, saying he had so many more years of concert and performing. But we have to look at the reality of basically uh, a concert performer and uh, a recording artist and how many more years he had left. I don't know what the family would be entitled to. I do know that Catherine and the family should be entitled to something because he should not have died under these circumstances. Debbie, we also hear that the uh, old allegations of um, sex abuse are going to be raked over the coals. Um, is that really relevant in a compensation case like this? My reading of the court's ruling in this case is that they will allow aspects of the child molestation trial to be introduced. While they may not go over the charges, I think what would be relevant in this case is what was Michael Jackson's physical and mental state of mind during a very high-pressured trial? Was he medicated? Did he have difficulty sleeping? And were these symptoms and behavior similar to what happened when he was preparing for the concert. I, I really think that's the extent of the relevancy with the child molestation. Okay, Deborah, thanks very much.